Happy New Year! I'm so excited that you joined me today because we're on part three of getting ready for the new year and here it is. Here it is. Hopefully you've done part one and part two. If you haven't, go back and do them. They're short episodes. Just take some time. In fact, you can binge do it, right? It's the new year. You're excited for all the things that could come. And here we go. We're going to make a difference in our world. We're going to change things from the inside out. We're going to do some amazing things and take our life to the next level. So make sure you did part one and part two. We'll cue the intro and we're going to get into part three. I've spent the last 20 years studying, teaching, and coaching people to find their greatness and take their lives to the next level. Along the way, it's become evident that emotions are at the root of everybody's successes and failures. Worry and fear are the enemies, and it's time to forge the armor and earn the tools to overcome the two things that could single-handedly destroy your future. Hi, my name is Michael Johnson, and I'm a life coach, a peak performance trainer, and I'm the emotions guy. It's time to take back control, control of how you feel, control of how you act, and control of how you experience life. It's time to become a lifer, a new breed of overachiever focused on living every minute to its fullest. We are responsible for how we feel, and no one and no thing can make us feel anything. Emotional mastery is our journey, and emotional education and intelligence is the key. We are lifers, and this is Magic for Life. What's up, lifers? Michael Johnson here with the Magic for Life podcast, and I'm excited that you joined me today because we're in part three of our getting ready for the new year. And here it is. It's new year. It is the new year. We are on to 2021 and we're ready to jam and rock out. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the things that we've been working on all week long and we're going to put them into action. What do I mean by that? Well, not the same kind of action that maybe you've done in the past. We're going to take some interesting and unique action. Remember, I believe that emotions are at the core of what it is that we do and how we experience things. And you're going to experience this in a whole new way. And maybe if you've done this before, this will be a good repeat. And if you haven't done this before, this is something you need to do. This is something you need to learn to do. You need to learn to do it on your own. You can use this video to walk you through it. It's going to be amazing, right? You have your list and you have all the things, right? You wrote down exactly what you do want. You maybe had a side list that was, I don't want this. And then you created some more of what you do want. Notice it's what you do want. Make sure that what we're about to focus on and create in our world is all about what you do want, not what you don't want. If you know what you don't want, guess what? You do know what you do want. So you can take for just a second, go back and look at those and go, ah, see, when I know what I don't want, I know exactly what I do want. So write that opposite of that, that other thing. But only you can write it down because only you get it. Only you know what the opposite of what you don't want is. Write it down. Okay. Now, it might just be It might be an item, it might be a material thing, it might be an experience, it might be just a feeling. It could be whatever you want, okay? Now, you went back and you said, okay, now I wanna write down all the things that I want to feel when I attain that. I wanna feel this. We use the example of a Ford F-150. Okay, good. I really want a Ford F-150 and I want it uh, platinum edition. I want it to be a 2021. I want it to be with all the trims. I want it to have leather seats that recline all the way. I want it to have uh, the big bed in the back, not the short one. And I know exactly what I want, right? Okay, great. Now, how would I feel? And then we talked about how you would feel. We wrote it down. Hopefully you wrote down what it is that you wanted to feel with it. I I would feel accomplished. I'd feel excited and happy. I feel like I had achieved a goal that I'd been setting out for a long time and that would make me feel good, right? Maybe I just want to feel good. I would feel good if I got that goal, if I attained that thing, I would feel good. Okay, great. Now we know exactly how we want to feel and we have it written down. Okay, so let's take the first one and I want you to do this with all of them. Now this one may take a little bit longer, but it is the new year. It's a time to start new habits. It's time to start some new things and get excited about what you're going to create in this coming year. 
It's going to be amazing. We're going to do it. And you're going to do it starting today. This is an easy way to start. So here we go. Are you ready? I want you to pick the first thing on your list. You got it? You know exactly what you do want. Okay, great. You got that first thing. Now, look at the things that you wrote down. This is what I want to feel. If I had that, I would feel this way. Okay, great. So maybe you would feel accomplished. Maybe you would feel happy. Maybe you'd feel excited. Maybe you'd feel like a kid again, getting something on Christmas, right? Maybe you'd feel, how would you feel? You wrote it all down. You wrote all the ways that you'd like to feel down. Now, here's what we're going to do. For a second, I want you to go with me. And every now and then we do these. These are a lot of fun and we can do it together. I would like you to close your eyes, if, not if you're driving, okay? Make sure you're safe and you can actually legitimately close your eyes because we want to get rid of some of the um, distractions that your eyeballs will give you. So for a second, I just want you to close your eyes. It'll be just for a moment. Right, And it kind of is okay to do that. Just get rid of some of the distractions. Just listen to me and I'll guide you through. Okay, here we go. Close your eyes. And I want you to think of that thing you want. I want you to see it as best you can. Some people say, well, I'm not visual. Don't worry, just see it as best you can. I want you to hear maybe the sounds of it. Maybe it was the sound of, yes, congratulations. Here are the keys to your new truck. Okay, what are the things that you would hear? Would you hear the sound of the dealership in the uh, where you were getting the truck? Would you hear uh, the sound of it driving? Would you hear the engine? Would you hear yourself turning it on for the first time? I want you to hear anything you can. I want you to see it in the best way that you can. Imagine what it looked like. What color would it be? What would it look like outside? What would it look like inside? What would it look like if you were driving it? Okay, I'm just, whatever your thing is, what would it look like? Get the best version of what you can see it as. And now let's go into what you wrote down. I want you to feel those things right now. That seems interesting thing to say. I want you to feel it right now. If good was at the top of your list, just feel good. Where would you feel that good? Where would you feel it in your body? Would you feel it in your back? Would you feel it in your neck? Would you feel it in your hands? If you felt excited, if you would feel excited, if you had that right now, can you feel excited right now? I know that seems interesting, but what is a way that you could feel excited? Have you had some way to remember feeling excited in the past? Maybe it was something similar to this. Maybe it was your first car, right? And using that same example, what was, what is that feeling? I want you to feel that right now. Where would you feel it? In your hands, in your neck? Would it be chills going down your spine? Would it be in your toes? Would it be in your legs? How would you feel it? Where would it be in your body? I want you to feel that way right now and combine it with what you see and what you hear. Feel it, hear it, see it. What was another way you would feel? Was it accomplished? Remember the last time you felt accomplished. Maybe it was a little thing. Maybe it was like, yeah, I finished this assignment. I finished, you know, maybe it was back in your college days, in school days. Yeah, I finished that and it was a lot of work. I finished my degree. I finished that big project at work. I finished that big campaign. Okay, good. And he felt accomplished. Feel what it would feel like to be accomplished, to feel accomplished right now. What would it feel like? So now you've got that feeling of good. Feel it. You've got the vision in your head of what it looks like. You have the sounds in your ears of what it would sound like and imagine what it would feel like to feel good and accomplished or whatever it is whatever feelings you wrote down whatever emotions you wrote down how would you feel right now if you felt that way then feel it right now i know i'm messing with it just keep thinking it over and over again and really feel that way let it flood through your body go through your body let it wash over you how would you feel right now if you had attained that thing that you had written down. How would you feel? Feel it right now. Don't wait, just feel it now. See it again, hear it again, feel it again. And just imagine what it would feel like right now. Okay, now open your eyes and we're here, we're back again. It was easy, right? It was easy to go feel that way. <clears throat> now, if you had a hard time, it's okay, just connect some of the things, right? If you know what you wanted to feel is because you felt it before. You felt that way before. So go find that thing and you can easily go back and find something from your past experience 
that has led you to believe that if you attain this thing, if you get this thing, if you accomplish this thing that you wrote down, that you will feel that way again. Now, at the root of it is just that we want to feel good or feel better, but that's just very, very simple. We want to actually think about the thing that you wanted to feel, like we were talking about accomplished or excited or just plain happy, but there's lots of different versions of happy. I, nobody ever thinks to themselves, gosh, I want to attain that thing and I want to feel sad. I want to feel depressed. I want to feel angry. No, you, that's not what you, you want to feel simply what you want to feel for getting it. And so we're just practicing how to feel it right now. Now you can use this, go back, use it over and over again. You can use me as a guide if you want, or you can just do it yourself. But I highly encourage you to go through your entire list and feel each one of them right now. Feel what it is to feel that emotion right now. Right now. Go take that and take that list and go get to work. This is where we start. This is where we start to create the magic for life. We start with how we feel and we start to take control, take back control of how we feel and what we do. Guys, we'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Happiness is a choice. Sadness is a choice. All emotions are a choice. Sometimes doing our emotions doesn't seem like it's our choice, but it is. You have control. You are the captain of your ship, and you must learn how to be the best captain you can be. Let me show you how. Pick up your free copy of my new book, Every Minute, at everyminutebook.com.